These fires have found easy fuel in forests full of dead wood standing. It's beetle kill, just waiting to burn. Our Anusha Roy looks at the unique risk that that poses for firefighters. Where the East Troublesome and Cameron Peak Fire are burning, beetle kill left swaths of dead and weak trees. You know, so there's lots of stuff laying on the ground. There's still stuff that's just teetering, standing up straight. All it needs, uh, you know, the right gust of wind and it'll blow that tree down. If it's unsafe, firefighters pull back like they've had to in Cameron Peak and draw out contingency lines from where it is safe. It's a pretty mixed bag on how it's influencing that fire behavior. It's CSU like assistant professor Camille Steven Ruman says dead trees have fewer needles and branches that touch each other that fire can spread through. But it's dead so it can easily burn. They're also in areas mixed in with living trees that have dried out. Based on the the, uh, the drought that we've been having and the wind events. Winds that can push the fire around and move embers, lighting up dried out vegetation even after the sun goes down and mix in the hot weather we've had in the tough terrain and the fires keep burning and keep spreading. Then you have firefighters out there trying to work in the dark and then that you know, and that's increases the risk to them. For next, I'm Anusha Roy.